Uh, this is from Pitts 11 News. This is so good. I got to give it to you. This is a report on a white student who went on a rant praising white people. This is so good. We built modern civilization. White people are the best thing that ever happened to the world. In a racially charged rant, a Columbia University sophomore harasses and shouts white supremacist ideologies at a group of primarily minority students. We built the modern world. Who? Europeans. Europeans built the modern world. The incident happened early Sunday morning outside of Butler Library on the Morningside Heights campus. The students involved say the sophomore had targeted them, having followed them from a campus eatery to outside the library. This is hate speech against this young man. This young man is white. He is not a white supremacist because he put white people first. Black people do it all the time. Mexicans do it. The Mexicans are putting the illegal aliens first before the citizens. Not all, of course, but most. And so if black people can say black people are or uh, uh, praising black people, why can't white people do it? Why are they white supremacists because they stand up for the country? And this young man, this white male student is right. If it wasn't for white people, there would be no European country. There would be no America. America would be a ghetto. Look what Obama tried to do to it, a big mama Michelle. They almost turned into a white, uh, a, ra uh, uh, a ghetto country. So here's footage of the viral video from Saturday night. We invented science and industry, and you want to tell us Actually, to stop because, oh, my Actually. God, we're so bad. <laughs> video of the rant has now gone viral and is raising a lot of questions. I knew there were racists on campus. I just didn't expect to meet one That's person. Students Qualane Felix and Blossom Maduafakwa were among those harassed by the young man who was identified by the university's campus newspaper as Julian Vanabell. So how come this reporter is calling this young white male racist for standing up for what is right? If black, and then this black girl, this is dumb as a doorknob, got there by affirmative action, not because she earned it. Why is she say calling this white guy racist? She is the racist. Why is it that people of color can do it and say it at any kind of way they want, but white people can't? This is hate speech against white people. This is wrong. Back in a moment. God bless this white student at Columbia University for speaking up. Finally, somebody is saying what I've been saying forever. If it wasn't for white people, there would be no America. The Indians didn't do it. The blacks didn't do it. If it wasn't for white people, there would be no European. These folks are trying to come to our country. They didn't do it anywhere. And so here's this black student blamed the Columbia curriculum for this white man speaking up. While they did acknowledge a number of driving factors, both students feel his behavior is a byproduct of a curriculum at the university that tends to lean toward a Western European superiority. What are they doing on, once again, institution level to assure that um, there's narrative outside of Western European um, knowledge base, uh, knowledge spreading, assuring that their students, um, the students can, of color can actually see themselves inside the curriculums. Amazing. This is why you should not let black students and Mexican students on your campus. They're getting there by way of affirmative action, not because they love America. They want to change the curriculum because they want to promote their blackness. And when white people do it, it's hate speech. They start hate speech against whites. They call this young man a white supremacist because he's telling the truth. This is wrong. Absolute wrong. This is hate speech against this young man. Columbia University denounces the white student racism on campus. This is not racism, racism against him, folks. Here's the go. What? No we don't have time for it? I have some more coming up then. Columbus was to, was to hold an open reflection space Monday evening. Why are they catering to these blacks who only got there not because they earned it anyway, but because of affirmative action? Because they're black. Amazing! It is country and western Tuesday. It's a spiritual battle, a warfare between good and evil. Has nothing to do with male or female. Has nothing to do with color, folks. Fallen state people believe it's about color. Only if they're in a fallen state. But it's about spirit. Right or wrong, good or evil. We're influenced by one or the other. 
We're not in control of ourselves. According to the Columbia Spectator, a physics student named Julian Vaughn, I believe it's Abel, Abel was filmed shouting at a group of black students at 4 a.m. on Sunday. This is from Twitter. Here's the raw footage of a white male student at Columbia University saying whites built the modern world. We built the modern world. We built the modern world. Who? Europeans. Europeans. Built the modern world. We invented science and industry. We invented science and industry, and you want to tell us to stop because, oh my God, we're so bad. We're, we invented the modern world. I feel you. We invented the modern world. Degenerate. We saved billions of people from starvation. Are you joking? So, in all honesty, this white student, male student, Julian Vaughn Abel, is right. He's telling the truth. Thank God he's standing up and telling the truth. If it wasn't for white people, there would be no America. If it wasn't for white people, the illegal alien would not be trying to break into this country. And, and black people are not making it better. Illegal alien Mexicans are not making it better. It's white folks. Science and all that. It's white people. And I'm glad that this guy is, Julian, is standing up. About time white people spoke up. And all this hate speech against you, let it roll off your back. This man, Julian, is of great courage. And he's telling the absolute truth. And these black students are there only at Columbia University, only because of their color, not because they earned it. And then now that they are there based on black color, they want to change the curriculum. They want to change it to blackness and end up a ghetto. Black people, if you're not happy at these white schools, go to your own and mess up over there. No one cares. Julian, God bless you for telling the truth and standing against hate speech. These blacks are only there because of blackness, not because they earn it. They want to go to these white schools and change it into their ghetto uh, mentality. Finally, a white student standing up. White male is that. He says he loves white people. White people uh, of color, uh, while people of color hound him. We built modern civilization. White people are the best thing that ever happened to the world. They're so amazing. I love myself. And I love white people. Say that one more time. Yeah, white people. Say it right here. Yeah, white men. We're white men. We did everything. Look, I don't hate other people. I just love my white men. I just love white men. Listen to the hate speech against him. What's wrong with him being white and loving white people? He doesn't hate all people, other people. He just loves white people. I love white people. I did a, a man on the street thing, and most of the blacks did not love whites. It did of a million uh, views because the blacks were saying they don't love white people. Black people don't love anyone. They are the uh, uh, failures of society, the junk people. And this white guy going out and saying he loved white people. Thank God, finally. Here's Columbus was to hold an open reflection space, whatever that is. Oh, part D. Oh, yeah, Columbus University denounces the white students' racism on campus. In a statement posted on their Twitter page, Columbia denounced the incident, assuring students and faculty that it's under investigation. The white people are the best thing that ever happened to the world. Yeah. Bell did not immediately respond to our request for comment. The now viral rant comes in wake of a number of other hate speech incidents that have occurred not only in New York, but across the country. Posters for a white supremacist group recently surfaced near the Columbia University campus, further escalating tensions. So this is hate speech toward white people, folks. No such thing as white supremacy. That's hate speech. 
why when white people stand up for what is right, they call it supremacy. But blacks, when they do it, no problem. And this Columbia University is a coward, cowardly university. Going against this man for telling the truth to appease the black people who got there only because of affirmative action, not because they earned it. And they are proud that they got there because of affirmative action, and they pretend they earned their way. What a shame. And Columbia University is wrong for denouncing this young man. This is not racism on campus. This is a young man telling the truth. And the blacks who are yelling and screaming in the background are lying. So Columbia was to hold an open reflection space Monday evening. Here's that sound bite. Now, in response to the incident, Columbia will be holding what they're calling an open reflection space Monday evening. It's where students could be in community with one another and also raise any concerns they may have. Thank God white people are speaking up. Remember, these people of color at your school. You didn't go to their school. And if they don't like it, they can leave. They're not earning their way anyway. How is the black people going to go there based on affirmative action only and tell you what you should say and what you should not to say and what the curriculum should be? That's, it's like somebody coming into your home telling you how to live. It's nutcase. Black people don't know how to live. They don't know anything about curriculum. According to Yahoo News, the university dean wrote, Dear undergrad, graduate students, we write to you to unequivocally denounce a deeply disturbing racially charged student. This is hate speech against a student, which includes painful language direct, directed towards students of color and our community. Blacks can do it to whites, but whites can't do it to black. That hate speech. The dean wrote, we are alarmed at the rise of incidents of racism and hate speech in our world today. Hate speech is blacks against white folks. It's not the other way around. It is more important than ever that we continually demonstrate our core values and cave in to black people. She didn't say that. But, and resist our uh, community, I'm sorry, and restart or restate our commitment to a diverse, inclusive community on campus. At Columbia, we stand firmly against white supremacy language and violence. First of all, that's hate speech toward this white guy. No such thing as white supremacy and no such thing as violence. They're making that up because they are hateful. The Black Student Organization claims that Von Abel, Abel, Grab a student during the confrontation and ask them to if black women like to date white men. All lies. Hate speech against this white fella. Thank God this white boy is standing up. And white people, if you stand up, they can't do anything about it. What can they do? They don't have courage. They're angry. They're violent people, but they have no courage. Angry people don't have courage. They can't even look at you when they're angry. I'll take your calls when I come back.